What's up everybody? I thought I'd do another uh, first time video and this time it's on the movie Star Wars. I saw this uh, when I was really young. I think it was like uh, 79 and I saw it up in Wheelersburg. And then uh, I started uh, collecting the uh, figures. Uh, back then they were really mucho cheap. Uh, now you see them at toy stores and over at places like Walmarts and they're like nine bucks which is really ridiculous and it's the same thing with the toys I uh, started uh, buying the figures like every weekend and uh, I got uh, some of the toys for Christmas off and on I still have most of my uh, action figures and I have the uh, Jabba the Hutt play set that I got in like uh, Christmas of 83 uh, from the uh, Return of the Jedi movie I used to have the Millennium Falcon, which uh, sadly I don't have anymore. I uh, also used to have a uh, little uh, Yoda puppet-like uh, thing, which I don't have. I have the uh, monster from the Return of the Jedi uh, movie, uh, where uh, Luke is um, <coughs> on a trap door and uh, Jabba the Hutt pushes something and he falls and there's this uh, creature. I have that. And uh, I used to have uh, the uh, Play-Doh sets also, which I also don't have anymore, I mean. And also, um, I saw it like two other times. Uh, I used to live in Springfield, and I had saw it uh, over there, and then uh, I saw it in Wheelersburg also, and uh, in 82 we got a... Um, RCA video disc player for Christmas. I think it was the next year that, uh, or 82, that I got the movie on video disc, which sadly I don't have anymore. And then the video disc player didn't last long for us. Uh, in Christmas, Christmas of 85, we got a, our first VCR. And of course, in 83, well, 80, uh, Empire Strikes Back came out, which I saw twice. And uh, also, uh, Return of the Jedi came out in 83, which uh, I saw twice also. And uh, I used to have those uh, albums that was like a story album, which uh, I've looked around but can't seem to find. I may have gotten rid of it. And I used to have uh, those little uh, book and record things, uh, which uh, I don't have anymore. And... Uh, Anybody out there who remembers the C-3PO cereal, I uh, ate that also, and uh, of course, um, <coughs> video had come out in the mid-80s, and uh, back in 97, the new versions of the movies came out, and uh, later on in the fall, they all came out on the VHS uh, with the new scenes and stuff, and like, each of them had like... Um, really small featurette and uh, this was what I had gotten for my birthday back in 97 and these are all three of the special edition movies right here and uh, then of course uh, I later got the uh, four DVD set as a Christmas gift in uh, 2004 and this is it Let's see if I can open this Uh, this is uh, all three of the movies right here, plus a bonus disc of uh, bonus features. And of course I have all three of the new movies, and uh, I have uh, the uh, Clone Wars, which was the uh, cartoon movie, all both on DVD. Uh, and I know that there's a series on the Cartoon Network, uh, but there's not like a uh, complete series season. I know that some of the episodes have been on DVD. I mean, I haven't seen it on the Cartoon Network. I mean, the new ones and the Clone Wars movie are pretty good, but nothing will top the first three in the original series. I've kind of lost interest in certain movies. I mean, I'm a little bit old. I mean, I've never seen any of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies or Harry Potter, which I don't care to ever see. I mean, I've only seen, like, the first three Indiana Jones films, and I haven't seen... Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but uh, I've never really lost interest in Star Wars. <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's been it, and I hope you've all enjoyed it.